Oh my gosh, I found a floating burrito. Oh my gosh, Ember. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, Kaleo and Ember are having an unpleasant conversation. They're just- <gasps> Hello everyone and welcome to our winter special of the royal family. So in this episode we're taking a bit of a break from the main story that we've been doing and I thought it would be fun to do a winter slash holiday special because I don't even remember the last time I did one of these like a video. I feel like I've done something once before but maybe that was in like season one. And also because now I live in Southern California I will not be experiencing snow this winter and I miss it. So here's the catch. It is currently summer in our storyline, but we have one place that it is guaranteed to snow and that is the mountains in Mount Komarebi. So what we're going to be doing is focusing and just having so much fun with the royal toddlers and the royal kiddos in this episode, especially because I it's been, we, we, we used to focus on the toddlers and kids when it was like Alice May's group when they were kids and toddlers, when it was Amira's group, all of them. And it's been so long since we've done that. We really haven't gotten to pay attention to any of the children that were born, th oh, whoops, uh oh, that were born this past baby season. Keep looking for it, okay. Cool. So yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of fun. Again, it's like technically summertime. Um, they're like in our storyline, so it's not actually like Winterfest or anything in this. But I, I, we, we have snow, we have children, and we have toddlers. I do, however, have the kids that are like in Zayori's group because I feel like Cedric and Tally and them are like preteens almost, and they're not necessarily in this group. So there's several kids or or preteens um, in Cedric's group that aren't going to be here but I, we're, we see Cedric a lot and we're also going to like he's gonna have his own mini series with Alice May when she goes to university and he goes to high school so we'll we'll see plenty of them and then as I mentioned this is a break from the regular story so all, all the story posts have not been posted yet from the last episode but they will be posted before the next episode and I will of course go over them in the next episode so again I've invited a bunch of toddlers a bunch of kids however to get them all here I had to start a pa oh no oh cool Okay, all right, so hold on. I'll, I'll get to all this in a second. I had to start a party and I, I, I the only, oh no, where is your dress? Oh, there it is, okay. Um, I had to start a party, but like the only way I was able to do that was with a birthday party, um, but it's no one's actual birthday. So now everyone has showed up in their party outfits, even though we spent like two streams picking out winter outfits for all of the people attending. And of course, again, oh no, 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 wait, 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 don't remove all the accessories, change outfit. Um, of course it is toddlers and kiddos. However, we do, oh, look at us. Cyrus just dancing. We have some adults that have decided to help chaperone. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Um, but we have some adults who've decided to help chaperone. So we <laughs> we have, of course, Han and Araminta are kind of the hosts here. Samaritrix, Samari and Bellatrix, they are both here. I, f I feel like the other adults, like, I mean, of course, you usually have like staff to help with kids and stuff, but maybe some of them were like, we're, we're gonna go have a, a day on our own or something. Thanks for thanks for taking the kiddos, but then yes, we do have the chaperones. So Samaritrix, we have Corn Farm here. We have, I think Samaria would have dragged Kaleo here. She's like, listen, you need to get out of the house and not just getting out of the house to go uh, party and and do stuff. Um, so we, she's like, look, come on, you're coming with me. So Kaleo's forced to be here. Liam is also forced to be here because Ember is here, and I think Ember is going to be using this as an opportunity to schmooze some of the parents because I, wait, wait, so she has her baby or okay there's also newborn babies who will probably be floating babies that look like burritos so keep an eye out but I totally think Ember would be schmoozing the adults and probably trying to figure out a future arranged marriage for poor baby Gilbert and I definitely think she would have dragged Liam here as well so he's what are you doing what are you doing <gasps> 
What was that? That was slightly terrifying, okay. And like I said, I think that Cedric and Tally fall into the preteen group, but Tally's younger brother, Tally and Nani's younger brothers are here, Nikau and Kioni. And then we have Makai's daughter, Iolana. We have, this is Lord Sota. He is Baroness Vanna's son. And Baroness Vanna is very close with Araminta, although I don't I don't think she's actually here today. We have Akio, Akio and Izumi are here. We need to dress some of them. So yeah, we'll just be seeing a bunch of the toddlers and basically what I wanted to do was like start getting an idea of personalities because I mentioned in the last episode and I can link it below again but we did a toddler Halloween party stream that was like a canon stream or oh, did I not oh oh did I not pick a cold weather outfit for a Kyo oops okay it, it's, it's fine. I guess I wasn't planning on inviting a Kyo. I thought I did though. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe it's not too in character that he's here. You know what? Maybe Sayori and Rin and Mamie too, like, was like, please, Uncle Kyo, please come to the to the little hangout we're having. They probably wouldn't call it that. He's like, okay, fine. <laughs> Only for my nieces and, and my sons, I guess, too. That's important. But yeah, we had the Halloween party for the toddlers and it we, you guys seem to enjoy it so much. So I thought that maybe we would do it in an actual episode so we can start getting an idea of all of these personality. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Is that BVN? She's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so tiny. Look at this little baby. Oh no, she needs a coat. Look, oh, she's so grumpy. She's definitely, Cor oh no. She's definitely Cornelius's daughter. <laughs> is she already losing emotional control as a toddler? <laughs> oh no. I love that Kaleo's like climbing up the crowd right now. I would, I feel like he'd be tense or like in a bad mood or something. Thing. We'll, we'll definitely, we'll, we'll see him more in the next episode. Uh, oh, you already changed, but he's he's just here today. All right, control sim. He's feeling confident. Ego boost from riling up a sim. What if you're tense? Can I change you to being tense? I feel like he'd be in a bad mood. Can I put you in a bad mood? All right, there we go. Now he's tense. Now he's in character. Also something I don't know, Vincent, you need clothes, please, child. But what do you have in your hand? This is Lady Cat. I always want to say Ariana, but that's her mom. This is Lady Cat. Alina, what's in your hand? What is that? What do you? Oh, it's a toy. Oh, oh my gosh. I was like, what the heck is that? Okay. All right. She has a toy. <laughs> but something that chat did teach me in on, on the Halloween stream is that the toddlers can bite. And I don't know if I knew this before and just forgot, or maybe I just didn't know this at all, but I, I did not realize they could bite each other and that they could bite adults. And I was like, wow, that's very realistic. I know plenty of people who've been bitten by a toddler or a child before. <laughs> so now I feel like I've unleashed a power, like a superpower, and I will be using it all the time to see if they'll bite each other because Lady Cambridge and Ariana, not, oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep calling her Ariana. Lady Catalina, they were like the biters. So I swear I invited Liam, but he didn't show up. And then I had Ember invite him to the current lot and he said he would rather not come. <laughs> so I guess he can't be forced to be here. Oh no, wait, he is here. Oh, he is here. Oh, he did show. Oh my gosh, I found a floating burrito. Oh, now they're arguing in front of everyone. I feel like Ember like, and Liam definitely already, oh, who are you? They definitely already have a reputation. That's a fan. But I feel like, uh, like Han and Araminta would definitely be way too nice to not. I mean, I don't think the adults are ever outright mean to Ember. So like, they're nice, but like Cornelius is her cousin. I, I It doesn't seem like they really even like each other that much. <laughs> but Cornelius is here. Yeah, they don't have that great of a relationship. Uh, Ember and Liam are definitely still arguing and fight. Who, who is this? It's just a fan. Araminta, why did you, do, oh, you don't know him. You just, oh, you hugged the fan. I see. Okay, that makes sense. Also, Yuzuru and Cambridge, they, <laughs> So Yuzuru was one, the one besides Lady Catalina that Cambridge bit during the Halloween party. So he's here. I thought I had a jacket for him, but he's here too. And Yuzuru is Akio's youngest son. Oh, maybe you need a jacket too. Oh gosh, there's so many toddlers. There's so many children. Kaleo's just standing by himself. Oh, is that Siore? Wait, to Siore. Wait, 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 wait. What is happening here? Oh my gosh, Siore is like trying. I, <laughs> Kaleo, I feel like he gives me the vibes of like he doesn't know what to do with kids. 
but like the kids probably, you know kids, when you when they do something and, and they get a big reaction out of it, they'll start laughing like crazy and wanna keep doing it. I feel like maybe, and maybe Claire didn't get like mad at them specifically, but like maybe they did something and he got mad and then like now now they love to make him mad. <laughs> now they love to annoy him and Kaleo was like, why? <laughs> Look at this, it's because of the toddler preset. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for the better babies to come out. I'm still not sure if I'll be using like the toddler preset when it comes out. We'll definitely have to see when it does come out and how we like it, but I, I'm very excited. It should be soon. Oh my gosh, there's random people here. Just go away. Oh my gosh, go away. Uh, I can't make a child go away, apparently. Oh my gosh, and Makai is here, but wait, is that Kaikoa? Is that his son? It is his son. Makai's here, but he doesn't have a- he's- he's-, he's uh, isn't he cold? I love dad Makai. He's so sweet with all of his- wait, that is not the outfit I picked for you, sir. We- we get some Makai time in this episode. Okay, what? Was it this outfit that I picked? It was, okay. Okay, so this is Cambridge. Yuzuru and Cambridge have a negative relationship. Cambridge, I feel like, is going to be so sassy. Like, I feel like she's got, like, Fallon's, like, bite to her, I guess, like, her attitude. Not that Fallon is ever, like, outright sassy, but, like, she can be. <laughs> okay, but let me definitely focus on the kids first, because I'm, like, I feel like there's so much going on right now, and I need something to focus on first. So, we, we're trying to figure out, like, a little bit of a friend group here. There's probably going to be some more kiddos added to this group, and we'll definitely get to see Zayori more, when, and, like, her, her and, like, Rid and Mamie and all of them and people in their group during Zayori's story, but I want to, like, start setting things into place. So I'm like, okay, Iolana is in their group. Um, let me see, can I call you over? We've got Iolana, we have Nikau and Kioni. Although, who was it? Wasn't it at, like, Rin's birthday party? Wasn't either, like, Nikau or Kioni being kind of rude or something? Or, like, they got in an argument or something? I forgot which one it was. But we've got Iolana that she would be in their group? So, like, like, in their age group? But I'm trying to see if Iolana would be friends with Rin and with Sai Yori, a vast their villain. Oh, oh, are you on the pirate ship? Is that why? Oh, no, you're not. Oh my gosh, Ember. This is your child. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's Gilbert. <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks like a burrito. Oh my gosh, Rin's playing chess with Ellis. Okay, all right, wait, 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 wait. Let's go to your group. We have Sota too and, and Nikau and Kioni. And also we have Zayori and Rin and Mamie's cousin. Oh, respectful introduction. Okay, you don't know Iolana yet. So we're trying to see like, we're trying to start forming the groups, seeing who's friends with who, seeing if, if there's any like enemies or anything. Of course, we already have like a few stuff going on for the toddlers. And of course, none of this is set in stone because because I, I feel like stuff happens when your kids and toddlers and it's your kids and toddlers. So it's like, that's not always gonna be how they are or like they're not always gonna hate each other, maybe. It is a bit of a smaller group of kids too. So let's see, if we have, let me do, let's do the clubs. We haven't done a club in a while. Okay, so kids in this group right now, Zayori, Sota, Nikau, Kioni, Iolana, Rin, and Kaito. And we can possibly add more. Of course, Mamie might be in this group when she gets older. Oh my gosh, Kaleo, he's, okay, is he having an emotional? meltdown. He's feeling playful, but he has jealous pangs from jealous trade. It's not always reasonable, but sometimes he's jealous. Feels, what? Where did this come from? Oh my god, I did not even see VVN in here. She's so, she's just hidden and like it's just a head sticking out of a stump. Also, Cambridge doesn't like Kalea. Oh my gosh, Cambridge is so angry. She's just a little angry baby. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, oh, was that the bite? Was that the bite? <laughs> and then you immediately take a selfie, Kaleo. <laughs> oh my gosh, now Kaleo is in, he's enraged. Egger bomb from the motion court because this child bit him. An aggravating conversation with a toddler. Maybe, I, I love that Alice just is here and he didn't do a single thing about that. <laughs> Charles, maybe you should. Um, come, come get Cambridge. Charles doesn't like Kaleo because he knows what happened with Kaleo and Alice May. Um, I, I don't think everyone, like, I, okay, oh, Cornelius, I don't think Cornelius likes Kaleo either. I don't think Cornelius knows, like, every single detail. Oh my gosh, he's also just taking Vivi, what the heck? He's also taking Vivi and away from Kaleo. Charles is like, what is happening? Wait, Cornelius, please. 
move. Charles is like, get away from my daughter. <laughs> they look so done. Kaleo, I, I would advise you to get away, sir. You, you're still, you're enraged. You're angry, feeling angry from hot-headed trait. Dear Lord, sit. All right, take take her away, Charles. Maybe, maybe away from, away from Kaleo. All right, I don't know why there's a mailbox here, but the kids are still playing. I, I mean, I feel like it would make sense for Sota and Rin and Zayori and, and like, of course, maybe too. Maybe we'll be aging up soon because she's pretty close in age with them, but it looks like, it, it, I feel like it would make sense for them to be friends or at least they like see each other a lot because their mothers are friends. We just have to like work on building those relationships. It's also pirate day, apparently. Oh my gosh. Also, Ember is definitely trying to get in with Han and Araminta. Cause like thinking about it, I'm like, okay, who is, who would Ember try to get in with the most? I feel like Ember's such like a social climber. I feel like she would just constantly try to make connections. I feel Feel like she would be like okay well if I get in with them then they can put in like a good word for me so we'll we'll have to see and then poor Gilbert is somewhere just as a burrito also this is super cute Osiris is talking talking kid kid chatting with Priya and with is this is no 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 okay that's Lady Colette so Colette is Maxwell and Journey's daughter and they'll be having another child soon but they're having this little like group conversation oh no is she crying but they're so cute also, Priya, you should put a jacket on. Priya is so cute. I love her. She's adorable. Let me see. Let me see how this goes. Because they seem to be chatting a lot. Oh, no. Is Priya sad? Where is everyone from low attention? Oh, no. Poor baby. Okay. Talk to stranger. It looks like Colette is sad, too. Talk to stranger. Oh, Cyrus is just, like, so happy and so smiley. And then both of the girls are, like, crying. <laughs> Oh, Cyrus. Oh, who is this? Is this Kaikoa? Do you want to come in and, and hang out? Or are you... Oh, he's sad too. Why are you sad? Why are all these toddlers sad? Control sim. Araminta's... Oh my gosh, no, he's angry. No, my my tunnel from toddler tunnels. Get out. It's mine, mine, mine. Oh my gosh. Who are you arguing with? Oh, is it Mamie? Is Mamie angry? Did she take your tunnel? Oh no, Mamie is perfectly happy. She is. From... Oh, you know what? Tunnel, <laughs> tunnel fun from toddler toddler tunnels. The tunnel, go through the tunnel. I th I think it was Mamie. I think that's why he's angry. I think that's why Kaiko is angry. Mamie took his tunnel. Look how adorable she is though. She's so cute. And the Nohea is behind her. We had Nohea and Oshien wear sunglasses because we definitely think Samaritrix would put them in sunglasses because they look like little cool toddlers and they're adorable. She's so cute. Look at Mamie. Oh my gosh, Bellatrix, who, who, which, which, uh, the, the, the glitching. Oh, she's playing with Vivian. That's really cute. That's adorable. Oh, okay. Now Mimi is sad. Stranger danger from socializing. I always thought Mimi was like very, uh, I don't know. I thought she was very outgoing. Although now Kaikoa... Oh, okay. Now Kaiko is energized, but he, he's still upset about the tunnel, it seems. He still has the mood lit. No, hey is also here. Poor Mamie. She's so sad. It looks like her and Kaikoa are like kind of friends though. Maybe maybe they're like little toddler friends. Talk about favorite color, Kaikoa. Do you... I know you were just mad at Mamie, but do you want to make her feel better? Can you do that? You're a toddler. Can you do that? I, I'm, I haven't played with the toddlers in so long. It's literally been so long and now i have i feel like i'm i'm out of touch like i feel like i forget that they're toddlers do you want to hug her do you want to make her feel better i know she took your tunnel but she's sorry and now she's sad look at them look at Okay, now now it looks like she's like a little bit happier. Oh, Krakoa didn't even hug her. Is she already happy? Oh, it's because they're in a group conversation. I feel like she, I th oh no, she's still sad. She's still sad. Poor Mamie. Oh, oh, wait, 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 pause. Oh no, oh no, I was too late. Okay, I missed the hug. But she's still like a little bit sad, but she's. it says she's making new friends. Do you know Nohea? A, a tiny bit. You know of Nohea in your little, your little toddler way. Oh, Mamie doesn't know Osiris. Talk to stranger. Osiris and... Let me see. Control sim. Osiris and Nohea are friends. I was trying to think. I'm like, okay, who's going to be like the new groups? Like, are we going to have like another three musketeers like we did with Frederick? 
like William and Cleo, although we kind of know how that ended up, but hopefully it wouldn't end up like that. I can definitely see Osiris and Nohea being really good friends. Kaikoa, I think Kaikoa's a, a little bit older than them, but I can I can maybe see him being friends with them too. Or maybe like Felix and Vincent. Felix and Vincent, they're so of course they're their cousins and then their cousins with Nohea, but I feel like Felix, he gives me, oh my gosh, baby burrito, he gives me shy vibes. Like, he just seems very shy, and Cambridge is much more outgoing, very sassy, a little bit of a toddler terror, but she's adorable. And then Felix just see- oh my gosh, oh, oh, they're with each other right now! Felix just- oh, and of course Vincent is here too! I was gonna say, I can see Vincent and Felix being, like, I don't know, getting along really well because they're both kind of quiet. Um, but let's see, are you guys even- oh my gosh, Cambridge is still mad. Um, are you guys- oh, you don't know your cousin? You should know your cousin! Um, uh, say nonsense. Oh, wait, it, it says, wait, what? It says they do know each other. Wait, what? Oh my, wait, I swear that just said they didn't know each other. Did I, did I mess that up? And now they're suddenly friends? Okay, well, that works out. That's, a, that's what I was imagining, because I was like, they're both kind of quiet, so maybe I could see them bonding a little bit more, like meshing a little bit more, but we'll, we'll see as they grow up, of course, because nothing's set in stone. Kids change. Um, who, who, which baby burrito is this? This one, oh, this is Thaddeus. This is the surprise baby from the family tree episode. Oh my gosh, Cambridge really is a terror. Look at her. <laughs> I love that Liam is just like, I pretend I do not see. <laughs> this is not my child. Charles, you want it? I mean, I know it. Okay, we're outside. It's the snow. Oh, you know what? Wait, wait. I want to have, wait, we want to build stuff. We need another like army of snowmen. Okay, hold on. Have a snow, wait, you can have a snowball fight? <gasps> With Kaleo. <laughs> Use it as an excuse to chuck a ball of snow at Kaleo. Build snow pal with- Why don't you build a snow pal with Cambridge? Distract her from making like this paint everywhere. Okay, and now that we have a kids group, can we build snow pal- oh, oh my gosh, yes. Wait, yes. I totally forgot in season one because I like- I grabbed a clip from it for uh, a reel that I did. But we had like this army of snow pal- snow pals? Snow pals thing happening. I forgot it was a thing. I feel like we haven't played in winter. It's not even winter, but I feel like we haven't played in winter in a while. I love that there's just this group of toddlers here and that Aramint is entertaining all of them. They're so cute. Okay, so we don't have as many kids in this group, but now we have our little snow pal army being built. <laughs> there's just going to be a bunch of them here. I love this. It's definitely gonna take some time, I think, to build on some of their relationships and maybe like when we come back and focus on the kids again, there will be higher relationships but like at least i we, we just gotta get that bonding going you know we gotta we gotta do the clubs we can't do any clubs with the toddlers but they'll they'll we'll, we'll get to see more of them soon also oh my gosh oh my gosh charles looks so angry behind kaleo <laughs> he's like i'm watching you i still i still haven't forgiven you for what you did to my knees um we also have oceana and her sunglasses oh she looked stuck for a second she's okay she's she's got a little sunglasses too uh, her and no hey uh they're adorable. Look at them. I thought Nohea had a hat, but maybe not. I love this little group. It's so cute. Just Osiris, Colette, and Priya. And I guess Nohea is coming in here too. Mamie. And then Ocean just like bobbing away at the at the wheel. Snowman army, snow pal army happening right now. Who's on the who's on the swings? Do we know you? Oh my gosh, wait, this is one of the girls that Kaleo has hooked up with. <laughs> <laughs> She's just here. Is she barefoot in the snow? Um, should we ask her to leave? Maybe, do we think she would go up to Kaleo? You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories. Really? Cornelius and Han? Them getting along? Well, I guess Cornelius, like the whole Willow Creek family is like is kind of close with the Guangxi family. So I, I guess that makes sense. I just feel like their personalities like don't really vibe well. Why is this girl barefoot? Could, should Kaleo ask her to leave? Oh my gosh, Kaleo is very sad. Oh my gosh, very uncomfortable. Wait, what happened? Wait, wait, what is this? People peeling away. Poorly decorate. Hey, it's a park, Kaleo. Calm yourself. You're so spoiled. Very uncomfortable. Why is she uncomfortable? Oh, Charles is here. Oh, dear. Oh, 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 Charles. Oh, my gosh. She almost slipped right in front of Kaleo. Was that, would that have been an accident, though? Scoff at discomfort. Oh, 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 she's leaving. Oh, 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 she looks so sad. This is Lady Sade. She's an Italian Elon's daughter. And her and Catalina, they're both. Oh, sad. I'm gonna I'm gonna have them talk. Maybe they can be friends. Maybe they can bond over over them both being sad. Vincent is so cute. And then of course, which burrito is this? Gilbert. That's MM. That's Shade's cousin. Oh, they're hugging. Wait, that's adorable. They're both happy. 
happy now. Oh my gosh, maybe they can become friends. Let's see. Tell Goofy story. Oh, I don't know what the, what, 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 what's happening. The glitching's happening. Now that Charles is just shoveling snow right over here. Oh my gosh, it's already 6 p.m. in the game already. Oh my gosh, that went by so fast. Oh, oh, here's our little snow pal army. It seems like it's coming together, although it looks like some of the kids abandoned their snow pals. And now it's just Iori and Rin who are continuing to make snow pals. Cambridge looks like she's in a better mood, question mark? Are you? She is. She's feeling playful now. Okay. And then little, little Felix is just dancing below here. He's so cute. We have Sione talking to floating baby Thaddeus. Uh, I know they're newborns and they obviously wouldn't be here, but I honestly think it's very amusing just seeing like little floating burrito babies around. Priya, Osiris, and Colette have literally been talking for hours. Oh my god. Where are you guys on here, Priya? Oh, do I not, am I not? Oh, Osiris. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh no. Wait, you've been talking for hours, but your social interaction's down? Okay, we're, we're, we're cheating this. I don't, I don't think that would be the case. Wait, how have you been talking to them for hours, but there is no relationship at all? Share the love. Have you guys not actually been socializing? Wait, they, wait, they have a negative? Oh, okay. He's hugging her now. They had a little bit of a negative. Why do you want to bite her? Talk to stranger. Priya is playing now. Kaiko is adorable. Who's making a mess? Pilapo's making a mess. There's so many. Ooh, look at this. Oh, guys, look at the sunset. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. What? Oh my gosh, that's stunning. Okay. Oh, Kaleo and Ember are having an unpleasant conversation. I can't imagine. Like, I feel like Ember would have definitely tried to flirt with Kaleo. Even, even now, I was going to say at some point. Oh my god, Araminta, what the heck? What happened? You were literally just standing there. How did you slip? You were standing still. Oh my gosh. Oh no, is she okay? Oh, Han is like right behind her like, honey, are you okay? <laughs> okay, I definitely think Ember would have tried to flirt at Kaleo at some point, but like, I, 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 I don't think, I mean, we know Kaleo is like in a very bad and needy place and has definitely been um, using hookups to compensate for that, but I feel like he wouldn't with Ember. Like, I know he's like pretty, like feeling pretty low, but he's got other options. Like, I don't, I, I don't think he would with Ember. Also, Ember is betrothed to Liam. She has a baby. Uh, he, he knows everything about, not everything, but he knows a bit about like the thing with like William and Ember. I, he, I feel like he probably would have heard about about Ember saying that William was her baby daddy at some point. He definitely doesn't talk to them anymore, but I don't know. I feel like that would get out somehow. Like, I feel like that would have been an article or so. I don't know, something. Maybe he heard it from somewhere. Or maybe just like gossip through the royals, maybe. Oh my gosh, they're just fighting. They're just arguing. Now he's uncomfortable. From the poorly decorated environment, Kaleo, you need to stop being such a slob. He's literally at a park. He's outdoors. There's also a bunch of random kids going by, but I, I, I think they're just like random townies. Also, I love that some of the kids are just watching this. I feel like right now, Kioni is like, there's this tea happening. I'm gonna pretend they can't see me and just pretend I'm- the They literally don't even realize he's there. They probably don't. They're just- <gasps> Did you guys see that? <laughs> wait, wait, why did they have fun? Wait, oh my gosh, Kaleo is pissed. He's so angry right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wait, who, where are you going? What are you seeing? See what's happening? What's happening? He's enraged. No win scenario from both losing an argument. Anger bomb. Yes, yes, we know Kaleo. He's so pissed. He's so pissed. <laughs> I kind of like to, I don't know if Charles saw that, but I like to think that he did and just has not done a thing about it. <laughs> Same thing, maybe, maybe Ellis too. Oh my gosh, he's so pissed. I feel like this sounds like something Kaleo would do. I feel like if he, cause I just saw Liam. I feel like if he passed Liam after Ember just threw a drink at him, that he would be like, your, I guess fiance, your fiance did this. Like, go, like do something about, I don't know. That just sounds like something Kaleo would do. Although I don't actually know where Liam went, but I swear I just saw him. Oh, oh, I found him. Oh, I found him. Okay, this definitely seems like a Kaleo thing. I'm actually surprised Liam's even here, but a vast there villain. What? Do you know Liam? Do you not know Liam? I, I feel like, well, actually, I don't know. They're both kind of, uh, F boys. <laughs> I, I was like, maybe they, maybe they don't get along. I don't know. Ember is so proud of herself. Look at her. She's so proud of, oh, she just disappeared though. That was terrifying. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Now they're on the Fallon's literally right here and so is Samuel. A burrito is here. I 
feel like after the drink was thrown at Kaleo, Kaleo insult face. Sure. Chew out, maybe? I feel like Kaleo would like pass by Liam. Maybe he like accidentally shoulder bubs him and then Liam. Oh no, did that child just fall? Who are you? Oh, she's a fan. I feel like Liam would be like, dude, what's your problem? And Kaleo's like, your fiance. In in his very Kaleo way of complaining. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already nighttime. It's already 8 p.m. All the toddles are gonna get tired. It's gonna be their bedtime soon. Oh my gosh, is Vivian, is she angry? Oh, wait, wait, she's angry? Is this Vivian? Yeah. I love that Cornelius is trying to teach her cards right now. It's really cute. Also, so Catalina and Cambridge are like the two that bit each other at the toddler party. So they're little like toddler enemies right now. They don't like each other. <laughs> I can see Catalina being like a little bit spoiled. She's Ariana and Sir Thomas Stratton's daughter, by the way. Uh, I can see her being a little spoiled. And then we all know that Cambridge kind of seems to have a big personality. Although they're talking a bit now. They're having a casual discussion as toddlers, but they also seem to, oh no, are they? Oh, 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 wait. Oh no, did Catalina bite her again? <laughs> you guys were just fine now. Catalina, is she angry? Wait, who was angry? Someone, oh no, that was Kaleo. Kaleo was a, oh, Kaleo's still enraged. My goodness gracious. Who are you talking to that's so enraged? Lord Samuel, did you make Lord Samuel angry? Did you make this little burrito angry? <laughs> yeah, Catalina and Cambridge are having like an unpleasant conversation. Princess Rin's going through a phase. She's feeling a bit clingy and is gonna say extra close to her favorite caregiver. Which one's your favorite caregiver? She's close with both Han and Araminta. I don't know, Zayori seems like very attached to Han. Um, and I, I mean, I think, I think they love them both, but like very attached to Han. Rin, I kind of, I mean, I guess I could kind of see her being attached to Han too. Mimi seems more attached to Araminta though. Also, I love how Charles is trying to defuse this little toddler situation. It's adorable. Oh my gosh, look at Bellatrix with Sione. They're so cute, her little nephew. I, I, I well, I, I feel, whoa, look at this. <gasps> whoa, look at the slopes. Oh my God, I'm rarely in Mount Komorebi. This is so cool. I did not know this. Would anyone go snowboarding right now? I feel like Bellatrix would. We, maybe we could save that for another time. I just, I want to play more with the pack. I feel like I don't get to. Let's see, who did we not really get to see much? We kind of talked about Vincent a little bit. Maybe we did talk about uh, Samuel. I, uh, some of the newborns, like the little burritos, are a little too young to really decide anything. Um, we got to see Kaikoa. Osiris is making a mess right now. Pilapo and Sione are a bit young too. We'll of course see them more as they get a little older. Priya, Colette. We got to see the kiddos a little bit, but we I guess there wasn't much of like friendships or anything happening here. Zayori's super focused. Why does Sayori want to become enemies with Jessica? Princess Sayori thinks it's about time to make it official. Lady Jessica is terrible? And sometimes becoming enemies in it. What the? Oh my. Oh, 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 I have seen this before. This has been a want of hers for a while. We kind of said on stream that I feel like the only reason this would like happen is because Jessica probably like tried to play a prank or something. And Zayori didn't think it was funny. <laughs> but like, uh oh, she's not really that close with Iolana because Jessica's Iolana's sister. Is she really? I mean, she's close with her cousin. So, so they're becoming a little bit of friends. There's not much happening with Nikau, Sio, or not Nikau. Nikau, yes, Nikau. Nikau, Kioni, and Yolana. Rin is kind of the same. She's not that close with their cousin, but Zayori is. We'll see them, of course, again, more in Zayori's story and kind of like the relationships on things. So I'm, I'm not like too super set on the whole like friendship stuff that are going on here because I, I already have Zayori's story planned and not everyone is necessarily like some supposed to be in it, but there's some things I'm like open to and like flexible to, especially like in her childhood. Again, there's not much happening and going on. I do think her and Kaito tend to get along. Um, apparently Rin is not that close with her cousin though, but I, I wanted to just like form a little group because they were all the same age. And then of course we have like our preteen group, which is like um, Cedric and Tally and um, who else? They, well, I guess they're the closest friends. There are more people in that group. We will see them later. Um, they're, I guess they're, cause they're like, even though kids right now, but some of the kids are more like the preteens. I know there's a preteen mod, but it, it was a little, it didn't work that well for what I was looking for. So I decided not to use it, but technically Cedric and them are supposed to be preteens. The burritos are so funny to me. Just the little floating burritos. Lord Gilbert, he's like, where am I? He looks so sad. Wait, hold on. He looks sad. Oh my gosh. She looks so concerned. He's just a little baby, but he looks so concerned. I feel like he needs a hat. But yeah, no, we, we got to see a good amount of the 
toddlers. Friends wise, I get, I, I guess we kind of got a good idea, but again, it's kind of hard because they're toddlers. Um, it's hard to like figure out everything. They can only do like so many toddle interactions. So we'll definitely see them more as kids, but at least this like gives us an idea of personalities, which is nice to know. So we can like see them grow up, see what happens. Um, we, I mean, of course we got to play in like the little snow. Oh, it looks like there's a festival. Oh, whoa, <gasps> there's a festival. Oh, is that why there was lights on the snow, on the snowboarding slopes? Is that what you call them? Whoa, wait, can you do anything here? Oh, there's a playground. Oh, oh, these are not, <gasps> wait, did someone die? Troy Miller. Oh my gosh, wait, what? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out later. We have our little like royals going on over here. This is the royals meeting area, although we do have some random fans here for sure. We got to see Makai, got to see them all. We, we saw Kaleo a bit, we, we were definitely, we're gonna get into a lot of story stuff soon, some pretty intense story stuff. So I'm glad we got to do this little like fun winter episode here. It is 10.30 p.m. in the Sims game though. So I feel like the toddle should be going home, we should probably end this party, but this was fun. I think we're gonna end this episode here. So this is going to be the last episode or the last video of 2022. I can't believe it's already the end of the year. I think this year went by really, really fast. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little episode. I hope you guys are having an amazing holiday season. I love you all so much. I want to thank you all just for another great year. I, we're, we're coming up on, I, is it four or five years on YouTube in June or something like that, which is crazy. I think I did mention a while ago that like when I move, I was excited to be able to do more videos and stuff. Um, so I just I just want to say this real quick because I think that, because um, I'll, be, I'll be starting a full-time job soon. So I think that videos are probably going to end up remaining about like, the same consistency that it has been. I I love this channel. I love doing these stories. I love doing videos for you guys. I love The Sims, of course, and I, I want to keep it up because I'm still having so much fun with it. I just also have, of course, like other things in life that I have to do. But I, I want to keep you guys updated a lot. Um, you guys have become like such a big part of my life and it is just, I, you guys just mean so much to me. Um, and I, I, again, love doing these videos. Um, I, I'm so glad you guys are enjoying them too. But yeah, I, I just wanted to say that as a little like end of the year message. Well, of course, videos will be coming out in January. Um, so very, very soon, but this will, this will be the last one for the year. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button and again i hope you guys have an amazing holidays happy holidays i love you all and i'll see you all in the next video in 2023 bye